What is up FBG fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now in the game of Genshin Impact there are a lot of really good elemental skills on a lot of really good characters. A few that come to mind is Zhongli, Hu Tao, Ganyu, Albedo, Beidou. There's a lot of characters that have really good elemental skills and I think that one that has been criminally underrated since the beginning before she even dropped in the game is my girl the Raiden Shogun A and the reason being is because there were a lot of I think misconceptions and a lot of misinformation pertaining to her elemental skill and then I think people took that narrative ran with it and they took off it just took off like a rocket ship well I'm here to say and I've been stating since the beginning that the Raiden Shogun I think has one of the best elemental skills in the game for quite a few reasons and we're going to go over those today so I do hope you enjoyed today's video let's take a look at the elemental skill first to see exactly what it does just in case you're unaware and then we'll get into some showcase so if you want to skip this part you definitely can I have timestamps in there I believe I did anyways Cody you better put timestamps in there I'm sure I did anyways let's take a look at the elemental skill which has a 100% uptime by the way we'll get into that here in just a second the Raiden Shogun unveils a shard of her Euthymia dealing electro damage to nearby opponents and granting nearby party members the eye of stormy judgment well, now what is the eye of stormy judgment you ask well I'm gonna go ahead and answer that for you right now when characters with this buff attack and deal damage to opponents the eye will unleash a coordinated attack dealing AoE electro damage at the opponent's position Characters who gain the Eye of Stormy Dungeon will have their elemental burst damage increased based on the energy cost of the elemental burst during the Eye's duration. There's a lot going on there and we're going to get into that here in just a second. Now the Eye can initiate one coordinated attack every 0.9 seconds per party. Coordinated attacks generated by characters not controlled by you deal 20%. Of the normal damage so there you go in terms of the elemental skill that is what's going on now let's go ahead and break it down so you have coordinating attacks that are going out and they're going to increase your party members elemental burst based on the energy cost that is incredible in of itself and then it does aoe electro damage as well outside of the coordinated attacks and it does electro damage it's just a really good elemental skill that i think people are not really understanding how good it is for a couple of reasons, those are just a few right there. And if we take a look at the skill, the skill damage, the coordinated attack damage, the duration is 25 seconds, which is absurd. And then you have a 10 second cooldown. That's where I mentioned it has a 100% uptime. That means you'll always have this elemental skill going off no matter what. And the skill damage, I had a lot of people tell me that the damage for the skill and the coordinated attack is not that great it's actually quite underwhelming and I just couldn't disagree more I think it's actually pretty good especially if you start leveling it up which I think you should if Raiden Shogun is a character that you really like I think it does some pretty decent damage in my opinion it's not the greatest by any means and are, are there other characters whose coordinated attacks or elemental skill damage does more yeah of course but with it being 100% uptime that means over the long haul this is probably going to do more damage in the long run than the other elemental skills because this is something that you can have out all the time you have to not take that for granted and then with the coordinated attacks what i'm going to go ahead and show here why it's so op busted in my opinion is because this works with other people's elemental bursts elemental skills it's just a really nice elemental skill to have on a character like the raiden shogun because it allows your other party members to be able to do more damage not only with the coordinated attacks with their basic attacks but it boosts their elemental burst damage it just there's a lot going on here and it's extremely nice and one that I wanted to highlight, I wanted to highlight this elemental skill because I believe it's getting a lot of flack and I believe it's unnecessary flack. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and use this team that I put together here. And the reason for this team is because I wanted to go ahead and show how the elemental skill works with some of these characters that have some passive things going off. And what I mean by passive is, for example, with Hu Tao, something I didn't highlight when I was uh, showcasing Hu Tao with the Raiden Shogun is that with Hu Tao's Blood Blossom that ticks every so often, that tick of damage actually procs the Eye of Stormy Judgment, the coordinated attacks, which is extremely good because that's a lot of passive damage that you have going off that you don't even need to be doing anything for. It's just happening without you having to do anything. So that's really nice. And then with Venti's ult, or his elemental burst while the elemental burst is swirling all the enemies together and doing damage the coordinated attacks are going off at the same time so you're getting so much amount of damage in that elemental burst it's absurd while boosting venti's elemental burst damage it's just nutty and then also with ganyu as well with ganyu's elemental burst i was able to show this the elemental burst actually procs the coordinated attacks as well so it's just a really really good elemental skill criminally underrated i think 
And I want to go ahead and show that off at this time. So let's go ahead and jump All straight right, in. So I did want to go ahead and show this off on some ley lines. There's a couple of reasons for that. First and foremost, I need those hero wits. <laughs> you know I need those hero wits. Secondly, uh, usually the ley lines produce a lot of characters that I can use Venti's ult to go ahead and bring them all together. And I'm also going to show Hu Tao's Blood Blossom as well. So let's see what we can do here. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to show Hu Tao's Blood Blossom on these guys right here. Oh, they're coming for me. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put a shield up real quick. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do this. So now we got the elemental skill out. Now let me go ahead and show Hu Tao. And we got the Blood Blossom on that guy. Watch the ticks. Watch the ticks. Boom. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's try it again. Hold on. Let me get... Hold on. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to do... Because I don't think the elemental burst is going to kill, is it? Nope. But look. Look at the tick. Look at the tick. Look. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. I don't have to do anything and that guy will die. How awesome is that? Let's, let's try it out on this guy. Let's try it out on this guy. Let me put a shield up so I don't die. And look at the ticks of damage. And the coordinated attacks. Look at that. How much damage is that? 17,000. Oh, let me put the, uh, let me put the, let me put it back up. Oh, they're gonna die. Like, that's incredible. That's actually incredible. The damage that happens passively without you having to actually even do anything. Alright, now we have Venti's, uh, we have Venti's Burst. So let's go ahead and check out Venti's Burst. And see, it's, it's pretty nutty. Hopefully we get a lot of guys here. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, it's the same people. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and drop this. And then let me go ahead and bring them all together. And then look it. Look at the coordinated attacks. Look at the damage. Without having to do anything, those coordinated attacks are popping off. You got Venti's Elemental Burst. I didn't do anything and both those people pretty much died. So it's pretty, pretty nutty. Um, okay, hold on. Let me. We got his burst back, by the way. <laughs> all right, so let's do that again. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully, that doesn't kill. Yeah, it's going to kill. And then we do this. So now, can you imagine with the Elemental Burst of Venti, the Blood Blossom, you have the Raiden Shogun's Elemental Skill with the Coordinated Attacks, and then if I had Gon use Elemental Burst going with, with that dropping down, all the reactions that's happening, everything that's going on is just nutty, my friend. It is absolutely nutty. It's bananas. Whatever else you can use in terms of uh, crazy, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and try and showcase it just uh, one more time. Hey, guys. Really quickly, I had to interrupt the video because there are three brand new waifu cups that just dropped as of yesterday that are for limited time pre-order, and I wanted to inform you guys so you can grab yourself these cups because they are amazing i mean look at this first one amazing absolutely amazing once again they're for limited time so once they are gone they are gone these are collectibles guys you're gonna want to make sure to grab yourself at least one of them that you see so this is the first one we do have the second one right here that looks incredible i mean come on guys mind blown right now and then this is the last one right here limited time collectible waifu cups three brand new ones that just dropped make sure you pre-order and grab yourself one right now if i'm being honest with you i'm probably going to be grabbing this orange one right here because it is chef's kiss it looks amazing also wanted to quickly mention as well i do have a code further beyond gaming also a link is in the description down below go ahead and click that link to get 10 percent off any of these waifu cups or anything in the store use my code further beyond gaming this code is going to allow you to be able to get free samples with free shipping so if you don't get yourself a shape shaker cup that's perfectly fine you can still get yourself some free samples like you see behind the shaker cup right here you can grab yourself some free samples and get free shipping on it which means you don't have to put in any payment information you just go ahead and grab the free samples and go ahead and try them out if you're hesitant about buying anything try them out first use my code further beyond gaming and then you can see if you like them and if you do then you can use my link 10% off everything in the store get yourself a shaker cup get yourself some gg subs and it helps out the channel tremendously it supports the channel and it helps us out to grow even further to be able to do bigger and better things so i appreciate you guys thank you so much let's get right back into the video all right so of course i had to come into this domain because this domain is just really good to showcase you know a lot of enemies 
in one area. So let me go and throw the shield back on once again. And let's go ahead and do this. And let's see if we can get Venti's burst here. Okay, almost. Let's go ahead and let's just do this. Okay, so we got the burst. So let me drop this down one more time. Let's go ahead and group them up. You can see the damage. Just look at look at all the numbers. Look at <laughs> look at all the numbers. It's ridiculous. And then I got his burst back. And I I haven't even done anything. It's just it's insane. It's it's actually pretty pretty nutty. Let's do it again. Look at that. And then the coordinated attacks, and then if I wanted to, I could bring Hu Tao out, get the Blood Blossoms going. I could have dropped Ganyu's Elemental Skill, I mean Elemental Burst. It, it's just, I I think it's a little underrated, uh, I, and I think it's a lot better than what a lot of people right, so think. So I, I think you guys get the gist of what I was going for. It's just a really good Elemental Skill. Now, am I saying it's the best? Of course not. I think there are tremendously better uh, Elemental Skills in the game. Like, I think Zhongli's is probably still the best because that shield is actually overpowered and broken. But, I think it's in the top 5. I have to say, I think it's top 5, one of the best Elemental Skills in the game. Um, because of just the utility of it and how good it actually works. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments stating, you know, should I crown it or, you know, should I crown the, the basic attacks of the riding shot? I don't think it needs to be crowned, the elemental skill, but I think it does deserve to be leveled up because of how good it is, in my opinion, at least. That's what I think. But anyways, guys, you do what you want to do. Let me know your thoughts, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, do you like the elemental skill? Do you still not like the elemental skill? I just want to get your guys' thoughts. But I wanted to showcase this, showcase it because I think it deserved to be highlighted. Uh, because of how good I think it really is. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked what you saw. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.